It is a great day to be at the office. I am the office worker and I am here to help. Today we're going to talk about line spacing and text alignment. So what I have here is just something I pulled off the internet um, when I was talking to my students about radio advertising. This was just something I talked to them about. So I thought I would use it since it's got some nice paragraphs to show you all about line spacing, paragraph spacing, and text alignment. So, we'll start with line spacing. Now, your line spacing under your format menu is paragraph. There it is. Took a little while. You have indents and spacing. Okay, we're not going to talk about indents right now, but spacing is in here as well. Now, you'll see there's three things for spacing. Before, after, and line spacing. Okay. Now, before and after are the same type of things. It has to do with the paragraph spacing. So, this is the space before the paragraph. This is the space after the paragraph. Line spacing has to do with the, the spacing in between the lines of the paragraph. So, so there's single space, one and a half, double space, those are your two normal ones, single and double, but um, some people also like to use one and a half because it's kind of nice round, uh, like right in between, if you're not sure which way to go. Of course, if you're a student, a lot of teachers will say double space your papers, um, but it depends. Now this one is single space. Let me just for, I'll highlight it, go back in there. It's going to show me it is single spaced. It's got auto before and after. Now, you can change that. You can make it whatever points you want. And right down here in your preview box shows you what that would look like. Okay. If you don't... Oh, this is okay. <laughs> Scratch that. Okay, so we're going to change this so you can see what this looks like. Now, I only have one paragraph highlighted, so it's only going to affect this one paragraph. We're going to make this paragraph double spaced. You can see in our example box here, our preview, that's going to look nice and spread out. And our before our paragraph, we do want to have some space. We'll do 12. And after we want to have a little space, we'll do 12 again. This way it's nice and evened out. Okay. And you click OK. And if you notice also, under paragraph, you have tabs. Now I did a previous segment on tabs. This is just another way to get in there. A little longer, but it's another way in there. Click OK, and now we're nice and spread out. You can see the difference between this first paragraph and this second paragraph. They were the same. Now this one's much more spread out. A little easier to read too. Okay. So once again, you would highlight what you wanted to have line spacing on, go to format, oops, paragraph, and we will change this to 12. And we can um, we can change it to something else, but and say okay. But just for now we'll do that. Now if you didn't want a lot of space in between your paragraph and your text, then you would just change your before and after. So maybe six. We can make this one zero so you can really see the difference. Okay. Now the reason there's space here is because this, see all the blue, how high up it goes? That's because this has pretty high, see the auto, <laughs> if we make this oops, before zero, now all our space is gone. See? So if that happens to you and you're like, well nothing happened, it didn't change, look at the next line. It probably has some sort of spacing put to it, whether it be the before, the after, or the line spacing. Um, if it's a single line like this, it's probably the before or after, depending on what you're looking at. So. That's what no spacing would look like. Okay. Right up against it, which of course we don't. That looks silly. 
Now, <clears throat> we, so we looked at the line spacing within a paragraph, the line spacing around this paragraph, right, the before, the after. Let's also look at our text alignment. So that on your home tab is right in here. There are four of them. Okay. Now let's come down here to a nice new paragraph. Okay. Now <clears throat> I'm going to actually push this onto the next page so we're not all split up like that. I triple click highlights the whole paragraph. You can also just click and drag whatever makes you happy. Right now it is left aligned. You can see how it's kind of dark. Align left. Okay. If I center it, then it's going to center according to the middle of the page. And now it's all, and you can really see it on this last line, right down the middle. Okay. If I were to type with it center aligned, it's going to start in the middle and just work its way out. See, it's, it's working its way out to the margins. The next one is right align, which means everything's going to line up on the right side of the paragraph. Right side. So it's all jagged on the left side. Zigzag, jagged, whatever word you like best. Left align lines everything up on the left side and it's all jagged on the right side. Now, if you don't like the whole jagged look, then the next one you're going to love because that's justified. That lines both sides up. Straight, straight. So now both sides are happy. Now right here, we have ourselves a little tab mark in. Right? It's also the indent, either way you want to look at it. If you look at it as an indent, that's what they call a, right up here, first line indent. Only the first line has been indented. Okay. If you wanted, I don't even have to click, if you wanted, let me push this back, um, everything except the first line indented, that's called a hanging indent. So that first line is going to hang off of the rest of the paragraph. That's this second triangle. I'm kind of going into something new here, but that's okay. I'm just going to show you. Nice little indent. This is great for things like vocabulary words, all you students. If you have the word here and the definition here, that looks really nice. Another way you can do it, if you want the whole thing pushed in, this little box on the bottom is your left indent. That pushes the whole thing in. Now, of course, what you do to the left, you can most likely do to the right. So all the way to the right side here, you have your right indent. That pushes everything on the right side in. But you see, they're still lined up nicely because we are justified. Now the cool thing about these um, alignments, you don't have to necessarily highlight. You can if it makes you feel happy, but you don't have to. I'm just clicked in the paragraph. Whatever I do up here is going to happen to the whole paragraph. See how it's all changing. So that goes for your alignment. It goes for your indents. When you're working with the indents, you just have to be careful to make sure you're on the indent and not somewhere else because if you're somewhere else, if you're slightly off of it, you're just going to create a tab, which of course you can just pull off, but if you're not wanting to do that, then just be careful to make sure you're in the right place, especially on this left side, because there are three types of indents right here. So you, if you want to hover over a piece of it, and it will tell you where, where you're at. See, I'm at left indent. If I didn't want left indent and I wanted hanging, I go, oh, I'm not quite in the right spot. I'm going to go up a little higher. And of course, it's going to make me come off. Okay, come off, come back on again. A little bit higher. Oh, not high enough. No, nope. why? They don't want to tell you. Tells you the first line indent. This one, you're just going to have to see. Well, you're on top of that triangle. It doesn't want to tell you. So they move independently. Now, the triangle, the bottom triangle, and the rectangle, the hanging indent and the left indent. They are both going to stay together no matter what you do. 
The difference is when you grab the left indent, the rectangle at the bottom, then both of these go together. So now, see, they're not, they're not connected right now, but they're still going to move together. See how they're both moving? So again, just be careful where you're clicking, and you'll get to where you need to be. So I added another thing for you, indents. Indents, text alignment, and line spacing. Click that like button if you like this. If it helped you, leave a comment below for what you'd like to see next. And uh, don't forget to subscribe so you uh, know exactly when videos are coming out. Thanks so much, and have a nice day.